coin is, it's a coin. Oh, you little cracker. Oh, it's a fibula. You little beauty, what a cracking find that is. Oh, oh, you stunner. Oh, no, me first find a Roman silver. Morning, everyone. Beautiful day, temperature's nice, little bit of a wind, I've got my back to the wind so you can hear me. Uh, I hope that you're ready for an adventure today, because um, as you've probably seen by now, I've had some absolute awesome stuff off, uh, off this field, and I'm intent on getting it done before it gets ploughed and sown with seed. So let's get off to a start. Just before I do, I want to give a little bit of a shout out to Kojo over there in the States, Bob's digging it over there in the States, Hayden over there in the States, and Rich Biss over there in the UK, and also uh, Tim, Tim Jeans. So um, hope you've been finding good stuff, guys. I know you have, Richie. So uh, good luck and let's go. Five or six minutes into the hunt, I've got a coin, there it is, look, didn't touch it yet, and um, yeah, it's Roman, again, there you go, that, what's that, the head side, I think that's the head side, not in spectacular condition, but it's a good start, I'll just take a photo of that. This weird and wonderful thing, don't know what it is. Uh, very old bronze. Any ideas, anybody? I'm going across a lot of stuff on this run. Uh, I'm not even halfway down yet. Second coin, but it's been chewed up a lot. Probably the ploughs caught that, but that's nice. I like that. Coin number two. Just want to show you this, uh, which I think might be a good idea. These coins, oh no, that's from another hunt, that one. Uh, these coins, I'm going to put in water here. I've got a jar here, look, with some water in. And I'm going to put them in there, it keeps them nice and moist. It might even clean them a little bit by the time I get back. They might be cleaned a little bit. So we're going to pop them in there. And hopefully that any mud or soil that's on them will turn to mud should I say, and uh, we'll clean up a bit better. Jesus, I just got a 74, 75 signal. I took one shovel for that, and I think it's another biggie. Let's have a look. I haven't touched it yet. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, God. That makes my day when I find these biggies. Absolute stunner, that is. What a corker. What a corker, look at the other side. My God, my God, look there, can you see that, look? Oh. Let's see from right, I've just dug this out, I've got 63 signal. Now, this field's really weird because you have different zones and I'm now in the bottle top zone. I just seem to find nothing but bottle tops. Then I get to the big coin zone a bit further up and then a bit further on I'm in the Roman zone where I find the little Roman coins. And at the top end, uh, there's nothing. This is a zero zone. And uh, 
Uh, although I've had the odd one or two finds, just this last day or two, I've had one or two uh, Roman coins up right up the top end and a silver hammer. So let's see if this is a bottle top. It's in here somewhere. Am I wrong? <sighs> bottle top. <laughs> Big 7980 signal, and I think I've hit the jackpot again. Can you see that there? Look, there she goes. Another, oh, it's big again. It's big. My good god, look at that green! Look at that green. It's well worn. That one is. Won't get much detail off that. It's started to corrode, so it's been in the ground a while. That is maybe it's just the, the content. There's no, no detail on there. Beautiful coin though, it's Roman for sure. Another one, another biggie. Wow! Well, it's looking like I'm going to have a bonanza day on Romans. Just had a 70 something signal. What, why this rang up at 70? I do not know. Oh, is that silver? Oh, it's silver. Silver Roman. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is three silver this week. Three. I don't believe it. Top end of the field now, and I think I found this. I think it's a pendant. I'm not sure. Can you see that bit sticking out there? I don't know if a string goes around that or through it or whatever. But I can't see any detail on on this at all. So maybe it was enamelled, I'm not sure. So I don't think that's that old. That's not a coin, it's look, oh, there's a stud on the back, so it's a very old thin bronze button. 57 signal rang up and uh, the small one it's dry look so it must have been on the surface all the time but I didn't see it very dry but that's another Roman I don't know whether that's five or six today that will go in the jar of water so it will clean up a little bit by the time I get back nice doing well today there's the last dig old look so two meters seven or eight foot anyway not more another another one a little bit bigger this time. Any detail on it? Can't see any. So I'm not going to take photos of them. You can't see any detail. A little bit on that one. So I'll take a photo of that and put it in the jar. Another 63 signal and again another Roman. Yeah, a little bit of detail on that one. So let's get that cleaned and get a photo of it. Can't go wrong today, can I? Look, next one. Oh, it's half a one. But that's Roman. Half a Roman, it was tiny. There you go, not much. So, just had another signal right in this furrow again where it turns it over. And the first thing I found was this bit of pottery. Look, you can see the lines on it. I don't know if it's Roman. But what's interesting is, I'm just wondering if. The Romans buried the money as an offering to the dead because this was a Roman graveyard apparently and I've just found that. So another coin, I don't know how many that is. Really tiny one, no detail on it at all. I won't even bother taking photographs of that one. But uh, I don't know how many that is, eight or nine again. Another little piece of Samian way. Uh, there is actually a bit of a pattern on that. Can you see in that bottom corner? I don't know what it might be, but oh god, I wish I got the rest of that. What a shame. There's that line across the top, and then just below, there's some uh, some pattern. 
I don't know, maybe it's a figure of a person or part of it. What a shame. What a shame there. I'll just bring it in. Try to let that focus. And it won't focus, I don't think. Pretty sure this is a Roman coin. I don't know if you can see it down in there. I can't point at it. There, look. There, right where my thumbnail is. Uh, so let's have a look now together. And sure enough, here it comes. I don't know how many that is. Maybe number nine. It's a nice little coin. It does have some detail on it. Uh, clean him up a little bit and take a photo. Nice little coin. So a little signal rang up in the 50s. What's that? Is that a Roman key? Is it? What do you reckon? Look at that. It looks very much shaped like one. So it wouldn't surprise me at all. I'm going to finish this run and I'm off. But I found another coin. It looks dry. That, oh, it's Roman. It's very round. Look at that. There's a lot of detail on that. Look at that. Come on, focus. I don't know if it's focused or not. That's very nice little coin, that is. Uh, definitely Roman. Let's have a look at the other side. Yeah, quite detailed, quite happy with that. No, not a coin, little flat button. There you go. Pulled up another round of coin and uh, some folks are coming to the test me. Nice. I'm just about in the big Roman uh, coin zone and I've got a cracking signal here, 84, 85. And I'm going to live dig this, going to take the chance, 10 centimetres. So I'm assuming it's pretty big, somewhere around there. Let's see if it's out. No, and it's still there. Still giving me 82. Uh, is it out? Let's have a look. No. Okay. Uh oh. I got a bad signal then. I hope that's not a bad omen because I've live dug it. So it's there somewhere. Don't tell me it's a bottle top after all that. Okay, so let's go down there, down there. Take another shovel for that. Oh, that sounded like metal. Yeah, maybe it's, it's iron. It's iron, I can see it now. Big piece of iron. Give me an 82 signal, that did. Okay, so no need to film. There it is. Right, the roundup. And it's a 12 Roman coin day today. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one's got beautiful detail on it, that one. Seven, eight, nine. 10. Uh, start again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That one's got quite good detail. Very thick look. So rather happy about that. And this one's silver here. I'm presuming this is Roman. But I, I don't know really. Uh, I don't know if I got that today. That's not Roman. Too grossed. Or maybe another day it was in the bag anyway. And this thing, which you found yesterday, and I think that's silver. It just looks silver to me. I've got to check that somewhere. It's not a spanner end. No, don't ask me what it is. I mean, it's too thin to be a spanner. Look at that. 
no way can that be a spanner so that's probably Roman silver but it just don't look Roman I'm going to look at that a bit closer up anyway I'm going to clean these up best I can now and uh, put them in oil and I'll take photographs and um, I'll accompany that with some music so